For this video, we're going to be breaking down number 11 wide receiver and linebacker Caden Glenn of class of 2025 for Putnam Valley High School, highlighted on the screen. But before we dive further into the video, please make sure to give a thumbs up and subscribe for future content. And if you're considering helping the group even further, think about joining our Patreon for added benefits or using donation links below. And now going back and speaking about Caden, this young man, 6'2", 190 pounds, really good physical tools. And what I'm impressed with is his body control for a young receiver. He does a good job looking the ball in, having soft hands, know where he is on the field, having some solid balance to him. And he uses his size well. Um, he does a good job of shielding defenders with his body and to create some separation on some intermediate and deep concepts. But he has the physicality to run through tacklers. Mostly in the slot, I've seen him. But he has the potential to play both on the outside and in the slot. Now, things he can work on. For his age, I was impressed by the multiple aspects of his game. But he can still improve on route running, straight line speed. Those are probably the biggest things. But let's go over a couple plays I did like. And I mentioned he's highlighted right here. He's in the slot where I saw most of the work. But he does show that ability can go to the outside. He's going to be doing kind of a deep drag across the field. You can see this number three receiver going out towards the flat. And he's got a beat. He's got a safety over top you don't see on screen, but you have these two defenders highlighted, right? So these two are kind of going to pass these these two guys off to each other. And this defender is going to be in a tough bind from the line of scrimmage, has to play this drag. So what Kane does a good job is finding that open space, right? He beats him across the field right there, gets in front of the safety, doesn't go deep where the safety can make a play on the ball. He cuts across, so he's coming across the field, getting some open space in front of the safety, not allowing him to make a play. You can see the speed there to get across, and this leads to a nice chunk play. And again, everyone's looking for these giant highlight plays. I like looking at these smaller plays, right, the details, these little uh, important moments. And so you see these two defenders. He's, there's a lot of space in between them. There's a safety over the middle. He's got to find the open space. He does a good job cutting across that field in front of the safety, not going upfield. Makes this nice chunk play. Again, you can see the physical tools. Solid size kid. Let's go to another play. Here he is in the slot. And again, he's got a good frame to him. And this is the awareness. For a young player, it's always important for wide receivers to have good awareness. He's kind of going to go in and then whirly out. But the important thing is seeing what is this flat defender doing? What is this outside linebacker doing? And what is this safety doing? Right? What coverage are they in? Are they in a zone? Are they playing man? And they're actually going to bring a stunt off the edge. So that means they're going to be in man coverage. You can see how far inside this safety is. So where is this space going to be? Towards the outside. Right? So you don't want to play too much. He does a hard move inside on this whirly. This defender bends a little bit more inside, which is going to leave this open space. Gets his head around quickly. He's not playing around, which is important. He uses his hands. Again, nice job. Look at him go through that contact, get those extra five to six yards because of his size. But again, these are some of the tools and the little details. That I always like looking at, right? Hard move on the whirly inside. Get that defender to bite. Get back to the outside. Look at all the space right there. Nice soft hands. Looks it in. Goes through that contact right there. Getting that first down. Moving the chains. Let's go to another play. Here he is highlighted right here. Now, this is not the best camera angle, but this is going to show some of that body control that I talk about. You're going to see he's going to be doing a deep concept. I think it's going to be like a post corner. Quarterback... Is doesn't like the initial throw, so he's going to scramble here. And you're going to see quarterback, he's looking his way, kind of has a little bit of pump there. Now he's going to try to scramble to buy some extra time, but gives Caden a moment to get towards the end zone. He's just going to heave it up there, but I like it, again, all through all the traffic. Look at him look the ball in. You can see the eyes right into the ball right there. Soft hands, and now watch the feet. Boom. Two feet. It's not just a high school touchdown, that's an NFL touchdown. Start from the top. And again, definitely can work on his straight line speed. But some of these physical tools are impressive. Heaves it to the end zone. Looking the ball in. Two feet. Really good. Last play. Here he is in the slot again. He's going to be doing a wheel route kind of with a slant by the outside receiver. And you're going to see this safety over the top. right? He's going to be covering that. Corner's actually going to stay with that slant. So you got a safety over the top who has pretty good position on it. But again, doesn't matter, right? One on one. Look at him, look at Caden go up there, out compete for the ball, and watch him keep his feet in, get those extra yards. Again, nice physical tools, good balance. One last time. 
doing a wheel right there. Go up there, get the feet down. Great stuff. And I'm excited to see this young man grow and what he brings this upcoming year.